of her death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Is come, all is bright, round yon virgin, mother and child. Holy infant, so tender. Glory, glory, hallelujah, his truth is marching on. Or any prayer they'd like to share. But otherwise, I'm going to ask uh, Mrs. Monk for another hymn. How are the pipes? And I, I, we played loud, so I hope they could hear us. But it's not so long since Christmas that I don't think we could do a little song. These men deserve so much better. And they did little more than carry a flag. Some of these people are in here for doing little more than carrying a flag. I believe the American people have a right to the 14,000 hours of missing video or, or a video of video footage of the Capitol Police surveillance that is ours. It's we the people that belongs to us and pay for the tax dollars. It does not belong to Nancy Pelosi. It is not at her discretion to release it or not to release it. So call your local representatives and tell them how you feel about that 14,000 hours of your footage and your footage and my footage. You know, my daughter's murder is public record. But it took so long for the Roseanne Boylan story to come out because there are so many lies told about that day and so much cover-up. And if there is nothing to hide, release the footage. Let's see who had bad behavior that day. Let's see it. Let's see it. And amen. God bless every single person to be in here. Folks in the back that didn't go in there don't well, want to be well, there. Well, the, well, the reason I most was Most people the that were there didn't go there. Well, most the, people that were there didn't go inside. So. Well, they didn't because, well, like, the, uh, one year ago. I was on the hill. I mean, I didn't make it into the building. I was outside the building shouting, we the people are pissed which we are and were. I mean, that was, you know, but I didn't, I was at the tail end, though, because I, I was on the ellipse, you know, at the White House when waiting for the president, so I was as, about as far away from the Capitol as you could be when he got done with his speech when we started heading to the Capitol. Violent couple of seconds of what happened on that day. That's right next to my face right now. They're going to be showing video of uh, police officers fighting with people. What they're not going to show you is the peaceful crowd gathered around the Capitol building not breaching the building, but at the perimeter, being hit with smoke grenades, flashbang grenades thrown by Capitol and D.C. police. They're not going to show that video. We have it, but they're not going to show it. They're not going to show what is essentially war crimes being done by Capitol Police against an unarmed... Now we have U.S. citizens being held in violation of their constitutional rights. These guys behind here, we have 43 guys in our building right there. Some of them have been here almost for a year. The majority of that time, 22 hour day lockdown. Denied access to a razor, to a barber, their own lawyers. All constitutional rights that every US citizen has. I'm here to commemorate the sixth, um, to exercise my first amendment right, to support the prisoners that showed up for America on the sixth last year, who are being denied their American rights, who are suffering for no reason, who are being held as pre-trial detainees, not being provided their due process, um, losing their businesses, losing their houses, losing their lives, lots of them for a little more than carrying a flag. And I think that America's, Americans need to stand up and tell their representatives, tell each other that that's not acceptable. Because this is the United States of America. We were all born with rights here. We were, we, they deserve their human rights, their human rights, their civil rights, their human rights, their American rights. Um, what is next for you? I don't know. I really don't know. You know, we take it day by day, trying to, trying to get through and, and heal as best we can. Thank you. Thank you. so appreciated but it's certainly been a journey with you Matt and I appreciate you you know uh, I think about the people that are in the prison who've gone through this and I look back at history and it seems to me that many of the most significant people in history spent a little time in the can often for no good reasons we know many times Martin Luther King was arrested we know Mar uh, Mandela was in prison we know that uh, a lot of the people involved with the civil rights movement in our country, spent time in prison, looking over to India, 
We know that Veer Savakar spent time in prison, in a British prison. But all of them emerged from that stronger people, more committed to the vision and mission of their nation and their nation's people. So I often wonder to myself, what great future statesman, what great future leader is sitting inside there right now, letting the ideas and the suffering that they're experiencing help inform them and strengthen them and fortify them to come back out and be a great leader of the people. I, I, I really look forward to seeing some bright stories come out of this disaster and this grave uh, injustice against humanity, against our, our patriotic brothers and sisters. They did that to us. We're divided into the thinking and non-thinking. We're the thinking. We come out to a rally like this, to sing and to, to recognize and to create more awareness in the general population in the rest of the world and in the rest of my country that this is happening and it can't happen anymore. We have to stand up and stop it. We have to get it out of our government. We have to create more awareness that we need just a better a better way. We, we can't let what's happening continue to happen. Uh, glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory. Truth is marching on. Lord, my soul, 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 my soul,